<laughs> it's interesting these spots here where the snow's been walked on or packed down so hard you can't hardly shovel them. But by digging to the side, that uh, new shovel moves it all pretty easily. The Chrysler is right, uh, pretty much frozen for the winter. One of my projects, and I've got the part for it, is to replace the drag link on that front end. It's the steering link that ties the both sides of the front steering together with the steering rod. But I can't get the Chrysler out of here. I don't want to do it out here and on the ground. I'd rather do it in the garage on the lift, so that's gonna have to wait till I get back. We're planning to come back in early May. The Madomic Valley Car Show is also in early May, so I'd like to get back early enough to fix that before then, but even if I don't, it's not a hugely big deal. I can drive it as it is. I just kind of look forward to getting it done just to see how good it's going to drive once it's finished. So I'm going to try to shovel a path around over to there. We've got a compost pile. I like this little snow mover. This is the third one of these I've owned. The first one was aluminum. It was really big, about as big as that red trailer over there. Which, it was awesome in some ways. You could move a lot of snow with it, but it was also really big and bulky and heavy and everything. The next one I got was plastic like this one. It was about twice the size of this one. And uh, I broke it. I can't even remember how I broke it. I just remember that it was broke. This one is even smaller and it's perfect for me because where it is smaller, it's pretty easy to move around. You can move a goodlyish bit of snow without moving the whole yard, which is a good thing. Uh, enough time out here today. I've got some things I want to do. One is I need to reset my back door. It's not lined up properly. It's letting a lot of cold air into the back room. And the other thing is uh, the back light ain't working on the back door. And I believe it's uh, I don't believe it's the bulbs. I believe there's something not right with the wiring there. I guess while I'm out here I can get my wedge I use uh, I use an oak wedge. I use oak wedges for a lot of things. I put the seals under my house using oak wedges. But uh, in order to line that back door up properly, the oak wedge allows me to position the door without having to have someone else stand there and hold it. And the last time I took that door off, uh, I didn't get it back on there correctly. I do need to work on that. I'm gonna want some long screws. Those are probably way longer than what I need. I'm gonna need my wedges. I'm gonna have to figure out where that's all at. Whew. I'll turn the camera off while I look around. 